Ropey is a national historic landmark. It is one of the best documented underground railroad sites in the country. It is on 90 acres. It has a number of historic outbuildings, a historic house. It can really help to tell the agricultural history of Vermont. And we have an incredible modern education center that has an exhibit that talks about the freedom seekers that came here to Rokeby on the Underground Railroad and the work of the abolitionists here in Vermont. We are on a fall foliage tour, learning about four different states. And this really, I think, solidifies a lot of what Vermont was about. You had the Robinson family here at Rokeby that was four generations. How often do you find one institution that has that? But also they were part of the Underground Railroad. So I, we like coming here because it's a condensed piece of history, very, but that's broad, of course, very important to our nation. But you get a nice chunk of it right here between the Underground Railroad history and also the legacy of this family, which spans all the way from the 1800s into 1960. Where do you find that under one roof and one family in the U.S.? So one reason is that they they were able to preserve it here. So I love this museum for that reason. What, what we have in these four generations is you can look at agriculture, you can look at art, you can look at abolition. I think people are really taken by the the um, range of of how much is in this. Uh, we, I know we have 90 acres, but in this relatively small space, how much is held? We also have seasonal exhibit space, which allows us to tell multiple stories of the family that lived here. From 1793 until 1961, there was a Robinson who lived and worked on this site, and we have a lot of their possessions still in our collection, so we can use this space to tell their story. So let your eyes get used to the, yeah. to the light. So as you can see, this is the um, original main room of the house. It was two rooms up, two rooms down. Um, the walk-in fireplace was what they used originally, of course. And in the winter, this was certain, you know the favorite room. So they they made everything here. And originally, um, they made candles. You can see the molds over there. Um, they certainly cooked here. They made bread. They uh, dried apples. Um, um, for eating later and pumpkins and, and such. So everything in the house, um, all of the artifacts are things that were either um, owned by the Robinsons or used by the Robinsons. Nobody had to bring in anything to make it, uh, you know, a period correct kind of situation because they never threw anything away. I think one of the important things with the Robinsons is that family members did recognize the importance of the family to history. And they recognized the Underground Railroad was an important part of the family's history. They recognized that Rowland Evans Robinson, who was third generation, was an important literary figure and an artist. And his daughter was an important artist. And they saved all of their items. And they even labeled some of the items so we know where they came from and who purchased them or who gave them to the family. And I think there was a, a hope that one day uh, visitors would be able to come to the sites and learn about the family and learn about their history and really take away something special from the, the history of the Robinson family. That's what's really unique about, about Rokeby's story uh, is that we can tell all these different aspects of black history in Vermont and the aspects of freedom and folks finding freedom for the first time and also the aspect of folks that are black Vermonters living in Vermont through the 19th century and the challenges and successes that they were finding. Coming from the South, we have history. Y'all have history too. The histories are connected with the abolitionist movement, the slavery movement. It's interesting to hear this part of it from, from another perspective. Your docents are wonderful. They're very knowledgeable. They, are, um, they certainly know their, their stories. And the background is so interesting, uh, especially the Quaker background and how it, they were so influenced by their religion that they were very fierce abolitionists. So yes, it's, uh, it's wonderful, the, the buildings, uh, being able to see it. I feel like I've walked back in time. People should come because we have a real varied experience for them. Um, we have got a wonderful historical exhibit in, in the museum where you see actual documentation that people had and tell stories about actual freedom seekers who came here, about work that was done. 
we have the farm, and, and that is so important. We have the history of agriculture in this state right here. It, and it's beautiful. We have 90 acres that you can walk around. We have trails. We, you have a, for children, we have a storybook walk that Tucker does. We change those three times a year. And then, of course, we have the historic house, which is not a mansion. It's, it's a house that people actually lived in. And you can come and see that and see the way people really did live, see the way a house, the way a family changed their environment and changed their, their home over the years. We all do it. We all make changes in our houses. And this is a living structure from 1790s to the 1960s, really. So, you know, there's, there's history, there's agriculture, there's exercise, um, and it's beautiful. And you can picnic. <laughs>